Well, viewers, it's another weird day for me because look at what I bought. This is uh, very atypical. I do have a few fantasy cars. I mean, I have the Simpsons cars, yeah, the, a couple Batmobiles, and some really funky looking Star Wars cars by Tomica. But I saw this, you know, and it just looks so ridiculous that I thought I'd buy it. And I'm not sure what, what I'm going to do with it. I'm not sure if it's going to be like a 3D wheel project or, or something else. I'm not sure. But, um, you know, I knew about the Bahad Bugs. I've never been in one. I really seen one in person, but you just see it in like magazines and commercials or stuff like that. So I did a little re research as usual. Uh, Bahad Bugs are... According to Wikipedia, believed to originated from Southern California in the late 1960s, and uh, they were basically cheaper conversions of people's uh, Volkswagens instead of buying, like, say, a uh, dedicated dune buggy like the Myers Manx, which is probably the most popular dune buggy. Um, the first Baja Bug is credited to Gary Emery in 1968. He built a car in the workshop at the Iverson Volkswagen dealership in Newport Beach, California. And then the first one to go racing is credited to Dave Deal, a Californian uh, cartoonist in the Mexican 1000 of 1968 in Baja, California. And then uh, I'm curious, I wonder if maybe this Dave Deal had this paint livery or something because if he's a cartoonist I mean this casting looks like a cartoon right the only other thing I really learned about through researching is the fact that these headlights uh, are so narrowly spaced on the real cars that uh, they had to change them later on in the in the 1970s but if we look at these photos here you know uh, this orange one you do have these modified engines just hanging off in this uh, off the back end with the roll cage kind of protecting it so that seems pretty pretty accurate and it's got this vertical almost vertical uh, tailpipe there's another roll cage engine but you can see on this image here you know the narrow spaced headlights so this is must be an oil a really early uh, body kit or something so but all the other ones seem to have the more modern wider spacing of the headlights on the fenders there so Interesting, you know, I knew nothing about these really, just other than seeing them in diecast and like in uh, old, old car magazine articles. Okay, well, I don't know what else to really talk about. I mean, the thing's a cartoon, right? But um, I guess it's nice to see like this chrome plastic uh, brush guard around the front end. Uh, I could add some silver paint to these lights here. It is nice to see these little retro racing stripes, and then it's got a 70 here, a racing number, a little Hot Wheels logo there. You know, it's a cartoony engine as well. Um, and But that chrome carries across, it's riveted together. So, you Hot Wheels guys, when was this first cast? Uh, was it before, you know, last year as a release? Is this just like an updated casting? Does this go back a ways, or is only a couple of years old, this casting? Uh, I'm curious. Okay, well, to stay tuned, I'm going to try to do something with this thing. Well, I decided to make a crazy-looking car even crazier. So I mixed a couple of elements. Uh, first, let's start with the wheels. I did The tires themselves are uh, paddle tires for, like, sand dunes. They're not actually for, like, dirt. They're meant to plow or paddle through uh, sand. And so the front tires have these ribs to help try to steer through the sand. Uh, then I have these uh, beetle shell inspired spokes. You know, if you think of the carapace of a beetle, that's what these spokes are supposed to represent. But being an off-road tire, I still have a bead locks here. So they're actually little nuts and stuff that would hold, like say, a ring around down, clamping the tire so it doesn't uh, peel off. So then I decided to model it a little bit more. I added a little paint here, you know, to the headlights, but I also 3D printed my own little uh, extra fog light kit here. So so that's just crazy glued on. I did have to tap it and, uh, you know, take it apart. Drill, tap, and take it apart because I had to clip off the engine because I decided to drop in a V8 here. And people do put V8s into Beetles. And it's, uh, this was a 3D print that I just downloaded off of the internet. I just downloaded the file and 
resized it to what I thought would have fit this uh, chassis here made by Hot Wheels and it, it worked out alright. I did clip off the exhaust and I then made these uh, new exhaust headers. So this is just a uh, Hot Wheels axle and then this thing is actually from a Gundam accessories. Uh, those Gundam model kits, a lot of people will take these metal turned parts and pimp out their Gundam robots. I bought these because I was building a lightsaber uh, you know a while back. There's a video on that somewhere and I just have a bunch of little uh, greeblies, little parts and stuff and it just so happened that this thing fit inside the Hot Wheels axle and it just so happens to look like an exhaust uh, tip so that's what I have going there. I painted it you know a little uh, copper for the header and silver there and then I decided to just put it on a giant like wing because I figured if you have a V8 you might want to have some extra power and naturally being a cartoony car it's just a cartoony wing but uh, you can see the back view there I painted the top of the base black here so it's supposed to be like a black tube frame and uh, I guess that's it yeah so oh well I added a little bit of red sharpie on the seat seat harnesses there I left the interior the stock color because it's you know pretty well visible being a silver silver plastic okay so I think that we'll let this guy go for a little spin here it's all about fun guys you know most of my most of my videos are somewhat depressing I think because I'm just so let down by some of the quality problems of die cast cars or I just you know I pay too much money for some of these things and the value just isn't there but when it comes to you know Hot Wheels they're just so cheap that even if I screw this up even if I throw this in the trash it won't really financially burden me you know I can live without you know the cost of a Hot Wheels so it's much more carefree and so uh, I guess I'm in a, a lighter mood but anyhow there's a V8 and it just so happens to be that what I put together kinda looks like that with the exhaust I didn't look at any of these photos beforehand but you know, if it's a Volkswagen Beetle, there's a good chance that there's whatever you can imagine in your head, someone else thought of it long before you. So if I wanted to make like an Antarctic snowmobile out of a Volkswagen Beetle, I'm sure someone actually tried to do that before. Darn it, I don't want to think about that now because I'll probably try it later. Okay, well anyways, um, I'll probably try some more of the goofy looking Hot Wheels just for fun. I had a lot of fun doing this, you know, just thinking what I could do to make this look even more crazy than it looked to, like, stock from Hot Wheels. I gotta give credit to Hot Wheels. They do have a lot of fun with their designs. And, uh, again, the the price is right, so. Alright, guys, well, I'll see you hopefully in the next uh, Hot Wheels mod modification. Alright, bye.